Hello, USD 383 Remote Learning Families. I'm gonna share a few quick tips with you to ensure that your child's iPad is set and ready to go for the first day of school and the first day of remote learning on Wednesday, August 26th. So just some reminders. Zoom is already loaded on your child's USD 383 issued iPad. Your child does not need a Zoom account. They will still be able to access all of the live lessons without one. And it would be great to have a second device, either your phone or computer or another iPad, with the email from your remote learning teacher pulled up that has the QR code ready for your child to scan. So your remote learning teacher has emailed you and inside that email is a QR code. This is what a QR code looks like. And that QR code will be able to get your student straight into the Zoom meeting um, if they use their camera on their iPad to scan it. So I'm gonna show you how to make sure their iPad is set up to scan QR codes. So I'm gonna click this home button here, and then I'm gonna to go to the settings, and it's the icon that looks like this, it's silver like a little wheel. It will probably be somewhere else different on your iPad. Your home screen will look different than mine, but it could be up here in the left corner. It could be somewhere down here on this navigation bar, but we're gonna click on the settings. And once I am in settings, I'm gonna scroll down this left side and I wanna make sure that I click on camera. So I'm gonna scroll down the left side and I'm gonna click on camera. Once I've clicked on camera, I'm gonna come over here and look at scan QR codes. I wanna make sure that scan QR codes is turned on or it's green, which means go. So if it's white, it's not going to be on, but we want green for go because we want to have scan QR codes on. So then I'm gonna click this home screen again, and you're going to want your child to open up their camera. So on the first day of school on Wednesday, right before 9 a.m., maybe around 8.50, get on so you can make sure you're ready to go. They can open up this camera right here on their iPad. You wanna make sure they're using the back facing camera so they can scan your second device. So then all they need to do is hold up that camera to that second device pointed at that QR code and you saw those little yellow boxes pop up and then you can see this link that popped up in the top of my iPad. So then it says website QR code open bit.ly in Safari. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and it's going to start opening Zoom on my iPad. I'll have to leave it down for now. So Zoom is gonna open because the app is already on my iPad and then you're gonna get this dialog box that says, please enter your meeting passcode. For all remote teachers in our district, the password for the Zoom meetings will be USD383. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in, USD383. And then I can click continue. And then from there, you're going to get this dialog box. And it says video preview. It says always show video preview dialog box when joining a video meeting. So if you always want this box to pop up before their meeting, they get into their meeting to see what maybe their background looks like and what their screen looks like, then you can leave that green. If you don't want that to pop up every time, then you can turn it off. So join without video or join with video. Well, of course, we want to see your children. We want to see their bright, beautiful faces. So we're going to press join with video. That's what your child will press is join with video. And I'm going to get my iPad setting back up for us here. Sorry about that. There we go. iPad setting back up and then you're going to see this screen. It says, please wait. The meeting host will let you in soon. So then on the teacher side, they'll have to let your child in. They can see that they're waiting in the waiting room. And once the teacher lets them into the waiting or into the Zoom class, your child will see the screen. And on the screen, it says to hear others, please join audio. You want to make sure that they click call using internet audio. That way, their teacher can hear them and their peers can hear them when they're not on mute. So call using internet audio and then they are in the Zoom meeting. On my teacher side, I can see myself in there and I can see the students. So this is what the student's Zoom looks like. This right here will be the teacher's picture that is on there and then the student sees their own picture down here in the corner. So I'm just gonna show you a few of the options here on the Zoom when they're on the iPad. Um, some main ones to look at are these icons up here in the top right. We have mute, stop video, share content, participants, and more. So mute, this is gonna allow their microphone to be on or off. If they click it and the red line is through it, that means no one is going to be able to hear them. And if they unclick it, that means that the people on the other side of the Zoom will be able to hear them. So a lot of the time will probably be muted, but I'm sure the teacher will give cues of mute and unmute. The next one is the stop video. So when it's on like this, their video is going. You can see it's going in the corner here, but if I click it, the red line will go through it. That means the video is stopped and all that would pop up is this little icon or whatever picture that the, um, for them it's gonna be an icon because they do not have accounts on there so they can't set pictures. So start video and stop video. Share content, that would be if you could share your screen 
the child could share the screen from their iPad onto the Zoom. Mine, however, is set up so students cannot share their screens. And then participants, they can just see whoever is in the call. Right now, it's just the teacher in the iPad. And then there is a more settings. And on here, there's just other meeting settings. Um, raise a hand, disconnect audio, and you can look through those on there. And then there's these emojis here. There are six different emojis, but the only two emojis the teacher would be able to see on their computer is this clapping hand and the thumbs up. So maybe the teacher asked a question and asked something, give a thumbs up if you like popcorn. So then they could give a thumbs up, it pops up on their screen and the teacher can also see it up there. But the only two that are gonna show up on the teacher's computer are those clapping hands and the thumbs up. And then if we come over here, this is switch camera view. So if I want to switch the camera, this would turn it to the back facing camera. As you can see, it's looking at my computer screen, but we wanna see those beautiful faces. So we're gonna switch it on this front facing camera and the camera is right over here. That's why it kind of looks fun, weird when I'm looking there, but that's the camera. And then this one says switch to gallery view. As you see right now, you only see the speaker or the teacher screen and then the student screen is down here. But if I click this, it looks like a grid. It will pull up all of the videos in a grid. Right now, we only have two videos going on this Zoom, but if there were more um, Zooms going, if there's more students on, you would see a grid view with multiple kids and the, diff and the teacher in there as well. And this one will switch to active speaker or the teacher view or whoever is speaking. And then down here on their video, you see a plus sign and a minus sign. If I click the minus sign, that's gonna make their video go away. They won't be able to see themselves. Then I can click that, that um, videotape icon to pull it back up. But then if I click the plus sign, it's gonna pull up other people that are in there as well. So the active speaker is still up at the top. The other students are at the bottom. So those are just some options some different settings on the Zoom on the Zoom on iPad that your child can see. So then I'm also going to go ahead and leave the meeting. So when the meeting is over, if the teacher doesn't end it or the student leaves before, they just have to click leave and then leave meeting. And then we'll say leaving and that will be the screen. So then I click the home screen. And if I have a link to the Zoom, say I got a link in an email to the Zoom and I have it on the iPad, I can just click this link on the iPad and again, it will open up the same exact way. Join with video, put in the password, and you're into the Zoom. So that is how to make sure your child's iPad is set up and ready to go. Again, if you have any questions about Zoom or about how to get on, if you're having troubles, reach out to your teacher. They will help you. We are all in this together. Don't be afraid to ask questions. We want everyone to be able to join and have an awesome time. See you on the first day of school on Zoom at 9 a.m.